Hey everybody, it's the Drive School Podcast. I am Pastor Goodman, your host, and uh, my good friend Pastor Matt Richard is back. How are you? It's good to see you, Harrison. Just uh, you can tell, just getting over a cold, so I, I sound, I sound a little bit more octave, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's always actually a good thing for the voice. Right. It helped me actually to hear myself with a cold because I hate how I sound any other time. Um, and so it's like, yeah, I should be sick more often. <laughs> yeah, I got, so I got a nice radio voice, but no, I'm, I'm feeling fine. I went for a run this morning, which was nice That's and uh, okay, feeling okay. good. Just sound kind of terrible. So yeah, sounds, sounds, sounds good. Uh, <laughs> So we were talking beforehand. Uh, I, I love sort of ripping apart what Jesus would say about things today. And uh, well, you, you threw out you threw out a curveball that we haven't really done here this way before. What would Jesus say about AI? Yeah. So um, I've been okay. You I gotta, I gotta be, it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, should ask uh, Chat GTP. What does Jesus think of you? Oh, we should have done that before we went online here. Uh, um, but you know, okay. So so AI has been just absolutely everywhere. And, and I've actually used the the chat GTP uh, quite a bit uh, yeah. as, as just kind of a search engine to kind of flush out language and so forth. And then uh, the newest thing is uh, I found that uh, Bing has this uh, uh, ability where you can create images. And so one of my parishioners created a minion serving uh, communion and sent it to me because I always say that I'm a sacramental minion. So she actually had one of those minions from... Uh, uh, despicable me and he's serving communion and there's just hilarious and i went in there you just type in the stuff and hit hit print and it it generates these photos it's just it's just amazing like right there it's, <laughs> yeah boom it's like this this beautiful photo and i'm looking at a photo of saint paul right now that i had holding an anchor because we have saint paul's lutheran church and anchor and but anyway so so what would what would jesus say about ai boy i think we're gonna have a lot of people trying to go on this pendulum back and forth is ai mm-hmm. evil or is ai you know, righteous and good. And so there's pendulum back and forth. And I think the place to go would be like Mark chapter seven, which which Jesus talks about what defiles. And he says, it's not what goes into the mouth, but what comes out. And he says at the very heart of it, from within the heart, he says, from the human heart, evil intentions come forth, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, um, avarice, and so forth. And so as we were talking beforehand, you know, you can take, you know, a scalpel, right? Or a knife, mm-hmm. and that scalpel knife can can be used in the hands of a surgeon to to perform a life giving uh, surgery to heal somebody, but it can also be used, uh, heaven forbid, in an abortion to take a life. Um, mm-hmm. We can look we can look at a, at a at a you know maybe a knife as well in the hands of a chef to create a wonderful meal to bless uh, people that are eating uh, at the restaurant, and that same knife could be used to enact a crime, to steal a purse, or to take a human life, and so it's not necessarily the object, it's the human heart, what the human heart does with that object. And and a lot of ways it's it's vocational too. Um I've actually I've talked about the scalpel thing before too and 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 sort of taught it this way. Um what if uh what if I were to drug you, take off all of your clothes and then cut you open with something really, really sharp? Would that be a good day or a bad day? And and like you immediately jump to, well this is this is horrible and and uh that that's that's obviously sinful. And then you say, Well, but if you're a surgeon, all of a sudden this is actually this right, is good right. life giving. Now now these tools are actually being used for good. It's not the goodness or evilness of the tool, but, but the way that God would employ it. Um, and, and so, yeah, that, then we get to say that these are just things, which is also good because we sort of take AI and because it's so futuristic, we tend to push it forward a little bit more. And, and our first thing is, well, like, will it ever get to the point where it's, it's sentient enough that we have to ask if it's a person and it's not there yet. It makes six fingered minions making communion right now. Let's keep it where it's at. Um, right. and, and nobody's, <laughs> nobody here is falling for this. Uh, it's getting better. And, there are certainly things to sort of talk about as far as how it can be employed because it can be used to trick people. It can be used to to circumvent people doing their jobs. And and those are the places to talk about it. And and you went right to the scriptures. Yeah. Well and again, I mean I think I think it's so easy to to miss the main point that a lot of these things in life, you know, like whether it's like I said, whether it's a scalpel or a knife or, you know, whatever instrument, a tool that it is that very tool can be used for good and it can be used for bad. And I think I love your point of a vocation, right? And so the the tool in the hand of the vocation of a doctor is a righteous and good thing because uh, it blesses your neighbor. But in the wrong hands, it can, what, destroy a neighbor. And the same thing with AI. You know, as I was looking at uh, some of the stuff with AI, the, uh, 
it's going to be a huge blessing as far as being able to, I mean, just as far as the components of, of, of medications, you know, how many times I've seen parishioners where they're actually sick because medications, you know, bumping into each other. But once you have AI, it's going to be able to synthesize and, and, and help, you know, be more efficient and effective on that. So we could say, well, God be praised for that, that we're going to have, mm-hmm. uh, you know, people not being sick from those kind of things. It's going to be helping out. And then all the other things that come with it, but then right alongside of it, people are going to be using AI with that evil heart, the intentions of the heart, and then taking that to pervert it for their own uh, sinful gain. And that's really, I mean, that's with everything, really. That's with with yeah. ultimately everything in life. Uh, you know, you, you can have two sides of it. And I think, so, the, so then the question, then what does Jesus say about AI? I, I think maybe we have to be careful. What, what, do, what do I say about AI or what does the listener say about AI or whatever it might be? And most of the time, we will have a negative or positive opinion on a thing, depending whether or not it has blessed us or abused us. If it's mm-hmm. abused us, then we typically will say, well, then therefore it's evil. Well, okay, we, we have to clarify, perhaps the tool was used for evil intentions that did wound and hurt, but that's maybe not always the case. And so I guess the question would be then is, you know, what does Jesus say about AI? Um, I would say, I don't know if he'd even comment, except for the fact that he would go right to the heart, you know, right, right. to the heart. And then I, w- I would I would assume that we look at this when when AI is used to bless a neighbor, we could all say what? God be praised. God be praised. But when it's used to steal and destroy or take from our neighbor, uh, then Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yeah, um, it's it's great to sort of do this, but it's also a thing that we do with idolatry in general, is that we ascribe personhood to things, and then we start to worship it. Um, and and before AI, we have done this with with so many other things, so much so that, that even when Jesus talks about wealth in this world, he personifies it and he calls it for what it is. He calls it mammon. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and it's just uh, this thing that, that sinners will always do is we will take a thing and we'll start to worship it as a giver of gifts, as a, as a god. Um, and so can... AI become an idol? I, I think the answer is absolutely. Oh, yeah. But yep. understood in its right place, though, then it, it's not any more powerful than anything else in creation, even if it can generate uh, minion pastures, um, which is which is fantastic. I'm here for the, the internet jokes, thanks to AI. It's made a lot of people's jobs there a lot easier. But... <laughs> Um, to, to sort of keep it where it is inside of God's law and gospel. It's, it's a good way to sort through not just this, but, but anything. Um, because we, we tend to actually address the Ten Commandments sinfully in the same ways over and over again with new, with new different things, even though it's the same old sin. And God continues to, to point us towards righteousness in the law uh, fulfilled in Christ over and over again. And, and that's, that's a good path. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just trying to think of another angle to look at this. I think I think we 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 have covered that. You know, it's all the the heart um, that 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 the sin comes, and so the the human heart can take a wonderful gift and pervert it. Um, you've also hit on this idea of vocation. That's when it's used in a proper vocation. Uh, it can be wonderful, but when it's used outside of a godly vocation, then it can be very very detrimental. Um, but I mean, that, that's just, that's all of life. I mean, as far as, you know, whatever it, it may be, the thing may be. And so I, I would say that we want to encourage those that are listening, we got to be careful. Again, we don't want to go in that pendulum back and forth and enter into these fruitless, you know, arguments back and forth that are debating. Uh, we got to make the main thing the main thing. Well, I mean, just imagine going back several, you know, decades ago and talking about social media. You know, I, I, I'll be the first to say that social media has been a profound blessing. Like just what are we doing right here, right now? Right. You know, yes. uh, just, just by using this, I'm here up in the, you know, you know, right by Canada. It's, it's blazing cold outside. And all of a sudden through a couple little wires, you and I are talking about the gospel and talking about God's word. And then we, what, a couple clicks, we put it online and people get to hear about it. We say, God be praised. That's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's great. And at the same time, people are perverting the use of the internet all the time. And the same thing with social media. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a catch-22 on it. And the catch-22 always comes back to the human heart, the human heart and all of these things. And so when it comes to AI, um, yeah, we, we need to repent. And at the same time with the human heart, or excuse me, with the AI, we need to say, God be praised for another gift to bless my neighbor. Absolutely. So, so to parse through this, then instead of looking at the thing itself, look at how you're using it in light of the Ten Commandments. So, are you are you yeah. using AI yep. um, to to sort of to to make a joke with your pastor? Well, God be praised. That that's cool. That that's fine. Are you using AI to cheat on a test? Are you using AI to to tell lies about your neighbor? Are you using AI to to trick people? Repent. Um, but the thing wasn't the AI. The thing was actually the commandment. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. And I think I think when you divorce it from 
you know, I think we divorce it from the Ten Commandments. And then, and then what you said is when we create an idol, uh, once we make it into an idol, you're either going to have people that are going to fear, love, and trust that version of the idol or despise that idol. And so, again, we got to call it for what it is. Uh, it's nothing more than just a tool in of itself and keeping its proper perspective. And when it's used for our neighbor, to bless our neighbor and uh, help us in our vocations, God be praised. Amen. Pastor, thanks so much. Yeah, it's good to see you, Harrison. You too.